is Halloween week here in drama. So to celebrate, I have a series of challenges for you. Um, and so uh, complete them if you dare. So this week, there are a series of challenges involving costuming, choreography, learning a dance, and makeup. So for each challenge, you will submit a video and or pictures of you doing that challenge. That's how you get the grade. Make sure that you read the directions carefully and do the challenges at your own pace. It's divided by days, but you're welcome to work ahead if you get inspired to do so. Now everything is due on Friday at the end of the school day. You will not be able to turn things in late for this week. This is a firm due date in order to receive full credit. You should be able to complete each of these tasks during our class time, but they can be completed outside of school, the, the outside of the school day, if you prefer. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go over these series of. So this whole project is on a Google form. Okay, and it does require you to enter certain things into this form. So like your first and last name, and if you don't type those in, you can't move on. Okay, um, so on Monday, you are going to choose whether or not you are going to um, dance, learn the dance to Thriller or to uh, Time Warp from Rocky Horror Picture Show. And what you'll see on the form, okay, is I'll show you the original video, okay, which we watched in class last week, but in case you missed it. Um, the Thriller dance choreography is um, separated into three, oh, sorry, five parts okay each part is about three minutes long um, but what the guy who is demonstrating this choreography is really good at is really going slowly and then has you go back and and review it instead of like here let's do this and then this and then this and then this and then you're like but I didn't remember the last part so he's really good about going slowly so you can um, you know, watch those videos as many times as you need to, um, but it is broken up into five small kind of bite-sized parts, okay? Um, the Time Warp Dance, there are two different videos that I've um, given you, um, and so each of them kind of is a little bit different, so I've shown you the original, and then, um, and then there's two options, okay? Um, then, um, so that's all you're doing on Monday is working on rehearsing these dances, okay? So whichever one you want to choose is up to you. On Tuesday is when you're going to record your dance, okay? So um, you want to run through it a couple of times. Just make sure that you remember what you're doing. Um, and then you're going to use the camera on your Chromebook or on your phone to record yourself doing that dance. Now make sure um, that you check the lighting, okay, of where you are, um, and also the camera angle, okay? So you wanna make sure that you don't set your phone on the floor, okay, and then um, and then film it from there. Film it so that, that you are kind of at eye level, okay, because otherwise, um, I'm sorry, at um, like waist level, so like prop it up on a chair or um, on a desk or something like that, and then back up away from your camera, okay? I need to be able to see both your arms and your feet, okay? So um, that's that's part of it, all right? Um, and also, it just, it's a weird angle if you do it from the ground. Um, yeah, so just don't do that. Okay, um, and then you have an option to tell me um, whether or not you're comfortable with me sharing um, that video with others. Um, I'm hoping to kind of create a compilation, so a, a mixture of these dances all together um, at the end of the week. So we'll see um, how that all comes together. Make sure that when you show the dance that you are playing the song in the background. Okay, so you can look it up on YouTube, um, you know, or play the original version. Just make sure you know you're at the right part. Okay? All right, so the next section is your next challenge, okay? And I put this, I, I wrote Wednesday or Thursday. Now, Wednesday is your asynchronous day. Um, it's records day for teachers this week, and that's the day that our, we have to make sure grades are in. Um, but I put Wednesday or Thursday because if you wanna do the makeup challenge on Wednesday, um, then you wouldn't 
be attending class with makeup on for the rest of the day. Um, you know, um, but if you want to do that, I'm sure your teachers would think that was great. And so would your other classmates. Um, if you wanted to do your makeup during class um, on Thursday, it's up to you. Um, so what I've given you is there is this lovely picture of seven Halloween makeup tricks. Let me try that again. There are seven Halloween makeup tricks using common household items. Okay. So these include things like cornstarch and um, lotion and food coloring, etc. Um, so you just want to see what kind of things you have at your house, so what your options are. So, um, so there are seven options there. I also attached a um, do-it-yourself face paint tutorial where the um, the person goes over how to make those paints um, in a little more detail. Um, so then I ask you on the form which makeup trick you are going to do. Okay, so you have to click one of those, whichever one you're doing, and then you're going to attach a video or photos of you putting on the makeup and the finished product. Okay, so if you're doing a video, you just probably want to, you know, set up your camera and do the makeup. Okay, and then attach the video. If you're taking pictures, take a picture at the beginning. Okay, and then maybe like in the middle and then at the end. Okay, um, and then again, you're letting me know whether or not you're comfortable with me sharing that. All right, so Friday, okay, this is a costume challenge. Now, this is not, look what I bought at the store. Um, this is you creating a costume based on something that you already have in your closet. Okay, so it's something that you're going to put together. Um, so you're going to create a costume for the character of your choosing. So it needs to be somebody other than you. Okay, so it can't be, hey, look, I'm a character. No, it needs to be somebody specifically. Okay, so um, think about how you might use clothes that you normally wear in a different way. Or if you have permission, maybe borrow some clothes from a family member to help with your costume. Um, make sure you ask. I know that uh, many, many a fights um, broke out at my house um, during my middle and high school years of my sister and my brother and everybody stealing everybody else's clothes. Um, we went through a getting um, like really cool vintage t-shirts at the thrift store phase and my brother would steal my shirts and stretch them out. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, um, if you're not quite sure where to start, there is a plethora, so a ton of YouTube videos. So I attached a bunch um, and I tried to kind of get a mixture of like girls and guys and kind of different perspectives here. So there's a lot of different videos, so check some of those out and they give you lots of ideas on how to modify and make some different things. Um, so you need to make sure um, that you either upload a video or um, a photo, okay, of the pieces. Okay, so here's what I'm going to start out with, okay, these items, okay, and then a picture of what it looks like at the end. Okay, so like here are the materials I'm going to use, kind of like the ingredients for your recipe, and then these, um, this is what I'm going, this is what it looks like at the end, okay? So you should be in the costume, not just you laying it out, okay? But it should be you in the costume, so a video or a photo of that, okay? And you're going to describe then below what, um, describe the character that you created and what you used to create that outfit, okay? So... For instance, um, we have been making um, wildcrat costumes this weekend at my house. <laughs> um, I am going to be um, a viva, so I gotta go find a brown wig or some way to um, dye my hair brown um, for Thursday for trick or treat, and. Um, so, you know, so I found a yellow zip-up jacket, um, and then I attached some ribbon on the end, okay, and then found a black belt with a big um, belt loop, okay? All right, so then next, you're going to let me know whether or not you are comfortable with me sharing that. And then finally, there is an extension this week, okay, if you want to get together with a group of either classmates or family members, whatever you would like to do. Um, and there is a script here, okay, called Monsters Anonymous, and there are six different characters, okay? There are, if you want to have a group of seven, 
it's kind of nice to have somebody read the stage directions. So anyway, if you like blow through these challenges and you're like, but I don't have anything else to do, or I'd love to start the semester off with some extra credit, this is what you could do, okay? Um, and so you would record yourself with your family or um, other classmates on a Zoom or whatever you want to do um, reading through this play. Okay, so if you're done with the challenges on Friday, you can do this during class on Friday and read through that play all together in a breakout room, um, and it'd be great. It'd be great. Okay. Um, yeah. So if your um, if your family um, is opposed to Halloween or um, that's something that you are opposed to or don't um, believe in. There is an alternate assignment. It is very similar to this assignment. Um, it's just altered a tad. So, um, so anyway, if that is you, let me know, um, and I will assign that that alternate assignment to you as opposed to this one. Okay? It's going to be really fun, and I'm so excited to see what you guys come up with. Um, so let's just enjoy this week and kind of take a break. So this is a little bit different kind of a work than we normally would do. So it's very, very regular drama, <laughs> which is exciting. So anyway, um, I will see you guys soon.